Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be performing the epoxidation of chalcones experiment. In this experiment, we will perform a green epoxidation of a chalcone using hydrogen peroxide and aqueous sodium hydroxide. Let's get started. To begin, we will add approximately 0.5 millimoles of our previously prepared substituted chalcone to a 50 milliliter round bottom flask. The mass of the chow cone that we will be using is 0.1373 grams. I've added the chow cone to the 50 milliliter round bottom flask, and we will next add 3.5 milliliters of methanol and a stir bar to the flask and stir the mixture with gentle heating for a few minutes to see if the chow cone will dissolve in the methanol. After a few minutes, the chalcone did not dissolve in the methanol alone, so we will next add dimethyl sulfoxide or DMSO in 0.5 milliliter portions until the chalcone dissolves. Once the chalcone dissolves, we will allow the round bottom flask to cool to room temperature. We will next add 250 microliters of 2 molar aqueous sodium hydroxide and 65 microliters of 30% hydrogen peroxide to the flask. We will then place the flask in an ice water bath and stir the mixture for one hour. After the one hour reaction period, we will stop the stirring and add five milliliters of ice cold water to the flask. We will next extract the epoxide using diethyl ether. We will begin by adding 10 milliliters of diethyl ether to the flask and swirl the flask to dissolve the epoxide in the ether. We will then transfer the mixture to a separatory funnel using a funnel and a glass stir rod to direct the liquid into the separatory funnel. We will then shake the funnel vigorously to extract the mixture, remove the lower aqueous layer into a small beaker, and transfer the remaining ether layer to a 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. We will then pour the aqueous layer back into the separatory funnel and re-extract it with a fresh 10 milliliter portion of diethyl ether. We will again drain the lower aqueous layer and transfer the second ether extract to the 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask containing the first ether extract. We will then dry the ether extracts over an hydrous magnesium sulfate for five to 10 minutes. While our ether extracts continue to dry over an hydrous magnesium sulfate, we will next pre-weigh a new 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. The mass of the pre-weighed 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask is 
33.6560 grams. We will next gravity filter the solution through a piece of fluted filter paper into the pre-weighed flask. We will next place the flask in a warm water bath and use a stream of air to aid in evaporating off the ether. After evaporating off the ether, the mass of the pre-weighed flask plus the epoxide plus any DMSO that was extracted into the ether is 33.8931 grams. We will next add eight milliliters of deionized water to the solid to remove any DMSO that may have been extracted into the ether. We will then use a micro spatula to remove as much solid as possible from the sides and bottom of the flask. We will next collect the epoxide by vacuum filtration with a Hirsch funnel and use deionized water to aid in the transfer and the washing of the epoxide. While the epoxide continues to dry, we next need to pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of the pre-weighed watch glass is 35.3702 grams. We will next transfer the epoxide to the pre-weighed watch glass and dry in a 60 degrees Celsius oven for several minutes. The mass of the pre-weighed watch glass plus the epoxide is 35.4698 grams. We will now perform a melting point determination of the epoxide product. Okay, students, you can now calculate the percent yield, determine the melting point, and analyze the infrared spectrum of the epoxide product. This concludes the epoxidation of Chalcone's experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.